geyser eruptions and earthquakes in Yellowstone, geological indicators for understanding caldera dynamics. Yellowstone National Park is one of Earth's most extraordinary natural laboratories. Beneath its forests, rivers, and meadows lies a vast caldera formed by cataclysmic eruptions over the past 2.1 million years that remains geologically restless. While most visitors marvel at the splendor of Old Faithful or the colorful pools of Grand Prismatic Spring, scientists focus on the hidden signals that reveal the park's deeper mysteries geyser eruptions and earthquakes. Together, these natural events provide a window into the forces shaping one of the largest volcanic systems on the planet. Yellowstone's Restless Heart The Yellowstone caldera stretches across 45 miles 72 kilometers, a giant scar from past eruptions that blanketed North America with volcanic ash today. Instead of explosive volcanic activity, the region displays its vitality through hydrothermal features and frequent seismicity. Over 10,000 hydrothermal features including geysers, hot springs, and mud pots dot the landscape, making Yellowstone the most hydrothermally active region on Earth. What fuels this system is a hotspot, a deep mantle plume feeding magma into chambers beneath the crust. This reservoir not only heats groundwater, but also drives crustal uplift, earthquakes, and ground deformation. The interaction of heat, water, and tectonic stress creates a feedback system where geysers and earthquakes act as surface, expressions of deeper geologic processes. Geysers, surface vents of subsurface pressure. A geyser is not merely a fountain of hot water, it is a release valve for underground pressure. Rain and snow melt seep into the earth, circulate deep within fractured rock, and become superheated by magma. When the water is trapped, pressure builds until it erupts violently to the surface. Some geysers, like Old Faithful, erupt with remarkable regularity, while others such as Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest erupt unpredictably, sometimes after years of dormancy. Scientists view geysers as natural barometers of the hydrothermal system. Even small shifts in eruption intervals or intensity can indicate changes in underground water pathways or pressure conditions. In fact, following certain seismic events, geysers across Yellowstone have changed behavior. Some becoming more active, others ceasing entirely. These sudden shifts suggest that earthquakes can rearrange the delicate plumbing system that feeds hydrothermal eruptions. Earthquakes, seismic clues beneath the surface. Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active areas in the United States, recording between 1,500 and 2,500 earthquakes each year. While most are too small to be felt, their significance lies in what they reveal about the caldera's inner workings. Particularly important are earthquake swarms bursts of hundreds of small quakes, occurring over days or weeks, unlike a single, fault-slip earthquake. Swarms are often linked to the movement of fluids within the crust, such as pressurized water, steam, or even small amounts of magma. These swarms are closely monitored, as they may signify shifts in the caldera's plumbing system rather than simple tectonic stress. Notably, some of Yellowstone's largest earthquake swarms have coincided with unusual hydrothermal activity. For example, in 2017, a swarm of over 2,400 quakes near Hebgen Lake corresponded with shifts in geyser behavior across the park. Though no eruption followed, the swarm highlighted how interconnected Yellowstone's hydrothermal and seismic systems are. Linking geysers and quakes, a dynamic feedback system. The relationship between geysers and earthquakes is not one of coincidence, but of dynamic interaction. Earthquakes can open or close fractures, changing how water circulates underground in turn, 
Sudden changes in hydrothermal pressure can trigger seismic adjustments as the crust responds to stress redistribution. One striking example occurred after the 1959 Hebgen Lake earthquake magnitude 7.3, just outside Yellowstone's boundary. That event permanently altered the behavior of several geysers, some of which became active for the first time in recorded history. More recently, smaller swarms have also been followed by geyser reactivations, including the unexpected awakening of steamboat geyser in 2018 after years of relative quiet. Scientists now see these links as key indicators of caldera dynamics. Instead of treating geysers and earthquakes as separate curiosities, researchers integrate their data into a broader understanding of the Yellowstone system. Monitoring the living caldera dot today, comma, Yellowstone is under constant observation. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO a collaboration between the U.S. Geological Survey, National Park Service, and University of Utah operates a network of seismometers, GPS stations, and satellite monitoring systems. Together, these tools measure earthquakes, ground deformation, and hydrothermal activity with unprecedented precision. Satellite radar INSER shows the ground rising and falling by centimeters each year, a sign of magma movement or hydrothermal fluid shifts beneath the caldera. GPS measurements confirm these subtle changes, while seismic data reveal the stresses and fractures reshaping the crust. Combined with geyser monitoring, these datasets create a complex but coherent picture of Yellowstone's restless state. A laboratory for understanding calderas worldwide. While Yellowstone captures global attention due to its size and explosive history, its significance extends beyond the borders of the park. By studying the interplay between geysers and earthquakes here, scientists gain insight into caldera systems worldwide from Iceland to New Zealand. Understanding how fluid circulation, pressure, and tectonics interact may improve our ability to forecast volcanic or hydrothermal hazards elsewhere. Conclusion Reading Yellowstone Signals Yellowstone's geysers and earthquakes are more than spectacular natural phenomena. They are indicators of a dynamic system still evolving beneath our feet. Each eruption of a geyser, each tremor deep underground, tells a part of the story of heat, water, and magma interacting in one of Earth's most powerful volcanic environments. Though, there is no evidence suggesting an imminent super eruption. Yellowstone remains geologically alive. Its rhythms recorded in geyser fountains and earthquake swarms. By decoding these signals, scientists move closer to understanding not only Yellowstone's future but also the fundamental dynamics of Earth's most complex volcanic systems.